I think the Nico 3-3 is one of the most underrated and slept on defenses in the game right now. And we're going to show you how to uh, basically use this defense at a super high level. I think this defense is really good. Um, there's a lot of things that you can do from this right now. And I just think it's a really, really good defense. So we're going to be rocking it uh, here in some mutt. So basically the idea uh, for the scheme is essentially to use nickel 3-3 normal as if it was nickel 3-3 cub. And the blitz is going to absolutely scream. You're going to see that as we go through. It's kind of live testing the blitz. But I think the blitz is really good out of this. And all the, the essentially all you're doing is you're, shift, you're, you're consistently going to shift away from the tight end. And then you're just going to crash out. And the blitz is basically set up from there. And then from there, you can the, the cool part about nickel 3-3 three, three, three is you can, you can craft so many different coverages. Like, there are so many different ways to play coverage out of this. There you see absolutely screaming. I think he blocked the running back there or blocked somebody. This thing screams against everything. It, it comes in against blocked running back. It comes in against blocked tight end. It comes in against max protect. It's a five or four man. Basically, that, that really does a good job. I'm actually going to see if I can just let him get this first down. Because I want to keep playing some D. My man walked down. BK Bewley tricked me with his trick plays, and he's able to get the get the sauce. All right, so nickel 3-3, LB blitz 0. And we're rocking this with auto flip on. I don't think you need to. I think you can go off, but I like auto flip on. This is also going to be really good for the run as well. So you're going to be able to stop most of the runs. As you see, I can just kind of fill in the gaps pretty easily there. Get a nice strip fumble, user strip. And on offense right now, I'm rocking tight slots. I really like tight slots. I think tight slots is going to be really good uh, next year. I feel like the only reason it wasn't – I feel like it was really good this year. The only reason more people didn't run it was because man coverage wasn't super meta. But right now, man coverage is really kind of coming back into kind of a common – common play call for people so we're backing tight is this just this formation just works man coverage i mean it, it it's just so it's it's so good against man it really is it's, it's just unbelievably effective it's really good against press coverage and it's really good against man coverage Kind of an underrated red zone route combo right here from Mesh Spot. Take that drag. And we're going to get him for seven. Also, real quick, if you guys um, if you guys are looking to get better at Madden or college football, make sure you join the school website, the school page. That's where I have all my offensive and defensive ebooks. We're going to have that for both college football and for Madden. Okay, so you're going to get everything over there. Uh, for just $10, and the cool part about that is it's always updated, right? We're always updating it with new stuff, new schemes, as we need to, as things, um, as the game changes, the website evolves. So that membership gets you literally everything over there. All right, back to defense, and we're going to shift, boom, boom. Now, we're going to kind of mess around with this four-man. I think this four-man is the way to run this defense, honestly. I want to run this more as like a coverage defense that where where like the four man is really good, but you're kind of running a lot of coverage. Because I think the coverage out of three three is so good because you can cross man so many people, you know. It's like right here, you know. We can just we'll send five because he's gonna probably run. It's also a really good run defense. I guess really good run defense. It's really good coverage because you can cross man so many people. You have the safety nickelback package. The only thing I don't – I don't love having a nickel corner, but there are some advantages to having a nickel corner. The base press dollar to me is so fun to run, but I do like – the nickel corner just gives you more options on the strong side of formation. So, like, if you're playing a lot of three-by-one, which this year we're playing a lot of three-by-one, that's what's also really interesting is last year a lot of people ran tight. It was more of a man meta, and the main defense that people ran last year was – 3-3 three, three, or 3-3 three, three cub. This year, more of his own meta and the main defense people run is dollar. So kind of an interesting uh, interesting deal here. All right. Let me do something like this. There you see, look at that four-man scream. That was on a block running back too. We'll take the ball. 
Yeah, that four man's insane. That four man is insane. We found something. We found something here in June. <laughs> here in June, we found something. And the the crazy part to me is that I guarantee you that blitz has been in the game. This is something I've been trying to um, kind of come back to myself. Like that blitz has been in the game since October. It's just nobody thought to do that. Like that's how that's how interesting to me labbing is and how important labbing is because labbing is really how you find new stuff. If you don't lab, you don't find stuff. If you don't, if because if you're just playing your your game, you're kind of running the stuff that you've already found or you should be. So you're not really testing like this. You know, you're not isolating problems. You're not solving problems. You're just kind of you know essentially building muscle memory, building repetition. So you need to const. I think there's a, a serious um, lack of labbing lately in the Madden community. Just not a lot of people do it, and I think that's a problem. Also, one of the best man beaters in the game. I'm gonna do a. Vi I didn't do a video on this route combo. One of the best man beaters in the game that you need to be using because a lot of people are gonna be running man coverage is tight end apprentice corners are really good against man. Like, they're really good. They're good against man. They're a lot better against zone than people realize. But tight end, appre tight end apprentice is unreal against man. The tight end apprentice post beats man. The tight end apprentice corner beats man. Um, I'm trying to think the other routes that you have. The trail route beats man off tight end apprentice. I don't think – I think that's it. So, And then, of course, like just basic stuff that's beat man. You know, the running back apprentice. Running back apprentice, tight end apprentice – those routes always do a really good job against man. Like the running back apprentice Texas route, the tight end apprentice corner and post. Those three routes every single year are typically pretty good. And then the slot apprentice post and slot apprentice corner. So those are some of the best man beating routes every single year. I would say this year corner routes don't beat man as good as they did last year, though. Shift away from the tight end. Yeah, there's just so much you can do with this defense. And you can send five. Or you can't, or you, or you don't, you might not want to. Whoops. The other cool part about this that I didn't get into yet, every linebacker uh, can go. So, like, let me show you something. So, if I go to this, let's see if I can find it here, safety nickelback package, it's going to sub some players and put players in wrong positions. But check this out. So, you can do, because you're going to be using it on this guy, now this guy can go in the middle third. So you can play kind of um, Tampa coverage like this. this. is actually really a good coverage. And we'll take the ball away. Yeah, this defense is insane. This defense is crazy, man. We have not had good – I feel like, you know, that hasn't been really good defense for a long time, and, and we just found some crazy stuff. So, and, of course, we find it like – this late in the year, even though it was already there. This combo right here is super underrated. For a red zone combo, about the 20. I got screamed at, so it didn't work. But Let's run that again. That's actually a crazy good play, too. I need to lab more. Look at that mesh spot post. Tom Brady throws the ball 15 yards in front of him. Just a little too much free form. I got to I got to work on my free form, man, boys. Going into Madden 25. It's going to be a it's going to be important. Free for, free form is so important. Uh let's do that same combo, honestly. This combo is kind of good. And we'll just ag back so we don't get KO'd and then we'll just juke in. And you see, I mean, tight slots is still it. I mean, tight slots is so good. Because you – well, the reason why tight slots is good is because it basically forces you to double flat, and then the entire middle of the field is open, which is where all your receivers are. You have five receiving threats inside the numbers, and you're forcing them to play all of their coverage outside of the numbers, and then everything's open inside the numbers. So it just – tight slots is just a really fun formation because you can't really play man against it, so you have to play zone. If you try to play match, I don't think match works very well, very well against tight either because you can really only match one side of it right. So I think that's another factor too. All right, let's um, – I want to try to play some more coverage, but he won't really let me set it up. 
this right here. Four man, little coverage D, but it's still pressure. Yeah, this is this defense is it. <laughs> yeah, this defense is it, boys. <laughs> oh man, this defense is really good. And I know I'm not playing the best player, but like you can just see all the little things you can do with it. The lineman is really good. It's crazy because at the beginning of the year, the best defense was nickel 3-3. Three, three. And here we are in June, and I think nickel 3-3 three, three might be the best defense in the game. And nickel 3-3 three, three Cub, right? Beginning of the year, nickel 3-3 three, three Cub, one of the better defenses in the game. The end of the year, nickel 3-3 three, three Cub, one of the better defenses in the game. Now, on the road to that, 6-1, dollar, nickel over, 3-3 three, three odd, 2-4-5 odd, all those defenses – had use right as we were learning new ways to get pressure but now once we realize really the best way to get pressure is to shift away from the tight end you know this is a really really good defense put my cloud here yeah look at this d this is this is such good coverage you just got you got that slot manned up so you can't throw the bubble screen you can shoot the run with this i might be a little too close to shoot the run here yeah, this defense is this is is pretty good. It's pretty good coverage. <laughs> and you could do this out of zone. You don't have to do this out of man. It's like, like if I wanted to make it a little easier to adjust out of this, I could come out in this cover too. The only reason I wouldn't do that is because when you if you go between like cover two and cover zero, there's a tell to your opponent, so they're gonna know, you know. But if I wanted to just let's do this right now we play really good coverage get some matching vert hooks out there those vert hooks are insane yeah i mean this defense is we built something boys more to come on nickel 3-3 thanks for watching the video if you want to get the full ebooks links are in the description below